how the moon affects us spiritually. So this video idea came from my boy's girlfriends because she had a question about this and how it affects like the peers and stuff like that. So look, the moon, right, affects the tides and it also affects us in the same kind of manner. We're mostly made out of water, right? So it has a pull on the water inside of us as well as the life force inside of us. Now the life force inside of us, right? The life force energy, there's many different kinds and many different liquids inside the body get transformed into many different forms of life force. Like the, the main one that we all know is to sexual energy, you know, um, semen and vaginal fluid for the girls and stuff like that. You know how like y'all girls, y'all girls be, be y'all could come also and have liquids and stuff. All that shit is life force and stuff like that. You feel me? So with that being said, right? As the moon becomes more full, your life force moves up. So the Egyptians would actually use the moon cycles to symbolize different periods of spiritual evolution. The new moon uh, going on to the full moon, right, is you increasing your knowledge, right? And at the full moon, you hit enlightenment. You feel me? You're enlightened for the full moon for like three days, and then it goes right back down. Your energy starts to go back down again. You feel me? And then you start to go back into ignorance at the new moon. And as it goes down, what happens? Females have their period. Now, that's only if females are hooked up to the moon, which not everybody is. But if you're hooked up to the moon, you'll realize that your period comes mainly around the new moon time because that's when the energy is going down and actually out. But there's actually something crazy, bro. If you do certain practices as well as change your diet, you know, you could actually stop having a menstrual cycle. Because what happens is that instead of needing to clear all that stuff out, um, it kind of like, you kind of just transmute the energy for spiritual evolution. I know it sounds crazy, but it's like, like I said, it's all life force, bro. And like, you know how like the egg be coming out as liquid and stuff like that, bro? That liquid don't got to be blood. It could be other stuff that gets stored inside your body and used for spiritual evolution and all this other crazy shit. But I'm not going to talk mostly, I'm not going to talk about that too heavily because like, I'm not a girl. So like, I don't, one, I don't, I know, I know the book that would help you with that shit. But I don't know how to go about practicing that shit. I don't know. I don't know like the complications if you do it wrong. Like, I, you feel me? So it's like, if you come across the information, you feel me? Then like do your thing, you know? I just say do the practices. And if you stop having a menstrual cycle naturally, then that's cool. I wouldn't make it fully a goal to stop it. I mean, I make it a goal to maybe make it less painful because like, the practices help with that also. You, you can get a lighter flow. It'll last less. And it could be not painful to the point where eventually it goes away completely. But like I said, I... I'm not a girl. I can't fully talk about that. So it's like, yeah. but that's pretty much how the moon affects us. It pretty much just makes our life force increase as the moon increases to a full moon. That's pretty much it. It heightens your life force. Now, something that's also cool though is the fact that you can actually experiment with this shit on a full moon, right? If you sit in front of the moon and like meditate with it, try to. It's gonna sound weird and like hard, but like you kind of get used to it, and understand it. You kind of sit in front of the moon and like let the moon do its thing with you. You kind of like breathe in a certain way. You kind of you kind of just feel yourself linking with the moon, right? And as you do this, you can actually feel life force moving up your spine. You'll feel like these little tickles and electric shocks. You're like, mm, mm. and if you get to the point where it does all that, gets to the top, and then you just literally leave your body. You feel me? Or if you don't leave your body, it'll at least move up, move up, move up. So that so that so that way when you go to sleep at night. You have a vivid ass dream where you pop out your shit or yeah, you can literally feel it playing on the life force inside your body. Something that helps is if you smoke weed, you could do it while high at first, but try to do it while sober too. You feel me? Cause like it's better to always do these things while sober, especially if you end up leaving your body, because leaving your body while high for me is not the most fun experience. It's not I'm not saying that it's scary. No, you just can't really you have no control over yourself. It's like eh, you feel me? So yeah. But that's a cool practice. S sitting in front of the moon. And trying to make it move your life once like your spine and stuff like that, bro, it, it gets really crazy. Like you start going like mm, mm, inches, and like kind of, kind of, kind of look like you're having spasms a little bit, but not fully. And um, and it helps, like I said, move life once like your body to the point where you could actually leave your body. And then um, yeah, the moon's pretty dope. It helps raise our life force. However, you should learn how to move it up all on your own without the moon eventually. But um, that's a whole different thing for a whole different time. Anyway, now you know why people get crazy at the full moon because all their energy is just heightened and it's full and yeah. Now you know why you get visions more during the full moon because your energy is high and heightened and yeah. Now that you know all this stuff, you got to do certain rituals. At the new moon, set intense. Make sure that um you're trying to learn new shit because you're going to be learning as you go up to the full moon. At the full moon, you'll be enlightened, all that type of shit. But get prepared to start losing certain knowledge 
or like to have your life i'm not gonna say have your life through the shit but you'd be more prepared to be at a point where it's like damn you may not really know everything as the moon starts to go down and stuff like that you feel me at a certain point though the moon don't really matter you just get stationed at the top all the time on some enlightened shit and then it don't really matter but yeah that's becoming like a, the jed the jed is the the jed is a pillar that was associated with the backbone of osiris becoming the jed just means firmly established with the sign knowledge itself enlightened all that shit whatever now you know how the moon affects you peace